Hey everyone, I am Anthony Scott at ToyHypeUSA.com. Today we are taking a look at Mattel's San Diego Comic-Con 2022 exclusive, Back in Action 3-pack, which was available at the show and at Mattel Creations afterwards. This set includes Major Matt Mason, Big Jim, and Pulsar figures which were big in the 60s and 70s. So Major Matt Mason first appeared in 1966, Big Jim 1971, and Pulsar in 1976. So if you were around back then, you probably will recognize the characters. I was not born yet, so these characters aren't that familiar to me, but I have heard of them. As you can see, the packaging is phenomenally done, which includes some great artwork there, mostly blue and the old style logo back in action right there. On the side, each figure comes out like a book. So we're gonna be taking a closer look at that. And there's the logos for the characters, Big Jim, Pulsar, and Major Matt Mason. The back gives you that logo again, as well as that description, which you see right there. So the figures come out like this. There we go. Here is a look at the figures out of the box there. The packaging, so phenomenally done. Really, really happy with this. They also feature five points of articulation and are inspired as if they were released in the 80s. So that is very cool. Let's take a look at all the sides and everything. I also want to give a big shout out and thank you to our friends at Mattel for sending along for review. Greatly appreciate it. There's a look at Pulsar's back and Major Matt Mason. So as I said, these were available at San Diego Comic-Con as well as Mattel Creation starting Saturday, July 22nd at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I did not have these in hand when they were up last Friday, so I could not give you guys a heads up on that, but just know that these are now sold out. You'll also note that the packaging is also a little bit different per figure. However, it is somewhat similar. You have different images of the characters on the artwork there where my finger's pointing. And you have a really nice window display showcasing each figure. Once you remove the packaging, you see the blister cards that were hidden inside. It also features the same artwork as the box. And you also see the plastic tray there. To open it, you're gonna have to cut around the tray, unfortunately, or just rip it open, depending on how nicely you wanna preserve these. And here is a look at the back. You have additional artwork. And you also have a bio of each character, which you see there. There's a closer look at the bio for Pulsar and Major Matt Mason. Giving you guys a look. And here's a look at the bio for Big Jim. Here's a look at the figures in hand. I'm going to briefly read the bios, which are on the official description of the figures. Major Matt Mason lives and works on the moon of the height of the space age. Big Jim dabbles in everything from camping to espionage. And Pulsar, the ultimate man of adventure, bears it all with his transparent chest. So, as I said earlier, the figures are from the 60s and 70s modernized into the 80s. So you're getting that homage 80s sculpt. Uh, most thing you can compare it to is Marvel superheroes or DC superpowers. Not so much Masters of the Universe as those had bigger, bulkier, barbarian type sculpts. These are a bit scrotier in comparison, but still pretty muscular, which you see here. Each figure is given five points of articulation, including swivel arms, swivel hips, and swivel heads, just as many other figures from the 1980s. 
Here is a look at Matt Mason and Pulsar. You see Pulsar has the transparent chest right here with his intestines showing. That's actually a pretty cool feature right there. Very nicely done. Here's a look at the back. The back is not transparent. It's just the front of them. There's a closer look there. Matt Mason. Very nicely done paint applications. Loving the spacesuit on them, the American flag. That's noteworthy right there. Very nicely done. Bring that in a little closer. 2020 Mattel. So they probably started working on this back in 2020. And Big Jim. I'm loving that symbol right there on his chest. He has painted on pistol right there, suspenders, belt, with a same wolf type logo right there. On his bracelet, you have what looks like could be a gadget that's just painted on. Let's turn him around. He's got his harness on him, which is all painted. Pants are painted in white, which you see there. And a closer look at the head sculpt. The head sculpts are also a bit stylized, as if they were released in the 80s. Each figure has his own very distinctive likeness, and it carries over very nicely in this style. You typically don't see these characters, especially these days. But it's great to have them in hand in these styles. And again, it fits in with the overall vibe of the 80s, if you remember that, or you're too young to remember what 80s figures look like. But this is basically uh, what you saw for the most part on uh, many toy lines. The paint applications on all three of these very nicely done. I'm especially loving what they did with Pulsar, showing his intestines. I think that's just very cool, which you see there. Overall, I think this is a big win for Mattel at this year's San Diego Comic-Con. This set gives you three characters that you pretty much basically don't see anymore. And getting them in this style is definitely a win all around. So I feel like this is a great Comic-Con exclusive as it brings the old and basically introduces it as new. So I hope that they plan to do more like this, maybe outside of Comic-Con. I definitely feel that there's enough fan interest there. Thanks again to Mattel for sending along for a view. Greatly appreciate it. I am Anthony Scott at ToyHypeUSA.com. Sit back and stay tuned for more Comic-Con coverage.